Today we're going to demonstrate the durability and safety of our Thinergy microenergy cell, the world's most powerful battery for its size. And by size, what I'm talking about is not just, not just the, the area, but the thickness. These cells are solid state uh, microenergy cells. They have, contain no liquid electrolytes. Uh, they're rechargeable, and they're also only 170 microns thick. This particular cell at room temperature can deliver over 100 milliwatts continuous output power. And as you can see, I'm flexing it and deforming it slightly here, and that will be causing no damage or uh, impact overall to the cell's condition. So if we want to demonstrate the uh, energy potential of the MEC, I'm going to hook up a meter here. And what we will see from the battery terminals is voltage somewhere around 4.1 volts, which is the nominal fully charged voltage of a Thinergy microenergy cell. So you can see we're at 4.098 volts. Now you notice as I flex the cell, there's no change in the voltage. Additionally, I can take the cell and I can bend it around another surface, which might be possible in an application, because these cells are designed to be deeply or permanently embedded in the final applications. And that means that they might have to be made conformal to or laminated to a curved surface or embedded in a curved product, for example. Um, credit cards, for example, if MECs were embedded in credit cards, they would have to be flexible because credit cards are flexible. So you can see that the Finergy MEC is actually really quite durable. There's been no change in the voltage during all of that stress and bending. In addition to the high energy level, it also can provide a very high power level. And the way I can basically demonstrate that is by showing you a simple test here with a blue LED. So this blue LED uh, runs at around 3 volts, and you can see from how bright it is, from the brightness of this LED, that um, the MEC is providing an extremely high power output. And that can be used to drive things like radios or small actuators, um, you know, things that you would find in small embedded devices that require um, peak power levels probably up around 100 milliwatts continuous output. So the other thing, as I was saying, is this is quite durable technology. So you saw how I had flexed it earlier, and here I'm bending it, and you notice there's no fluctuation in the LED. Another thing that we can also demonstrate with the, LED, uh, with, of the MEC is its uh, safety. So if I take, uh, for example, a glass of water, normally if you had a lithium battery, you would never think of putting it into a water aqueous environment, because of course lithium can react very violently with water. But in the case of the MEC, it's very safe. So I can just drop it into the glass of water here. And you see that it continues to operate with no problems. So if I remove it from the water, and then I try to do a further test to demonstrate the safety, what could happen potentially in any application is, is you could have a puncture or some kind of destruction to the battery. And as we know with traditional uh, batteries, such as can be found in cell phones and things like that, if you puncture the enclosure of those batteries, you might end up with some very severe results up to and including fire. So this is a standard hole punch here, so I'm just going to punch a hole through the middle of my MEC. And you notice that um, the power in the MEC immediately shut down. It is in, now internally but safely shorted. Now if I place it into the water, you would think, oh man, he's exposed the internal components of the MEC. Well, you notice there's, there's a small amount of bubbles coming off, but that's it. There's no flame, no fire, no smoke, um, no immediate catastrophic failure, certainly no explosions. So here we've basically demonstrated the world's thinnest, most powerful, and safest lithium technology currently available.